very good evening everyone namaste hello and welcome to the mega event kate global humanitarian techno and art exhibition organized by anuragyam science and technology on the occasion of earth day earth day yani prithvi divas jo hum har year each year we celebrate it at 22nd of april and this global humanitarian techno and art exhibition in the occasion of earth day it is observed it is organized and it will be a three day program starting from 20th it today itself and it will in that 22nd of april so anuragyam science and technology which is an integral part of anuragyam delhi is an organization which promotes science art culture and literature at every globally internationally and nationally with various competitions and activities in this event we organize various competitions like drawing uh, painting elocution and the uh, awareness activity awareness activities like bicycle rally picking up litters uh, with the panel live panel discussion and expert lecture so today is the first day of event where many students across the country with their parents and teachers join us and we are here to celebrate earth day earth day which is celebrated it is not just a one day celebration in in my uh, view every day should be a earth day we have only one planet to live so this year the theme of the earth day is invest in our planet which is the extension of previous year's theme itself so now let's start with the event today we have an esteemed distinguished guest from our country he is a professor and researcher a columnist a national award winning science communicator dr biju dharmapalan sir uh, i heartily welcome you to the show i will just like to introduce uh, sir i would like to introduce sir it is uh, so sir uh, it's no need to give the introduction still so i uh, just i said sir is the national award winning science communicator and he belongs to kerala he worked as a professor researcher science communicator for many of their science magazines and organization he worked with vikyan prashad he worked with the department of science and technology government of india with various projects and sir hold his phd degree most probably the first phd holder in in science communication from a very prestigious institution csir national institute of science communication and policy research and he worked with as i said he worked with vikyan prashar csc government of india he worked with many magazines like science reporter scitec and the columnist for many of the pioneer newspaper like statesman telegraph etc he has a vast experience in the field of science technology research and academic sir with the whole team of the whole, with the whole team of anuragyam i program is the welcome you to the so very very heartily welcome sir we are blessed to have you today welcome sir to the so uh thank you uh, doctor is it audible and, uh, to you yeah yeah it's audible uh, am i audible yes sir yes sir, yes sir you are audible okay uh, so yes sir you are doctor prajna okay thank you doctor no, prajna for sir the, i am not doctor uh, in the, uh, no uh, uh, for a nice introduction and also uh, the anuragyam uh, society uh, that plays a very important role in uh, science popularization you are most of your activities are indeed uh, appreciable i have seen many activities you are doing for uh, science and uh, you know, in in order to develop scientific temper in the society i am yes. very much impressed by your activities and uh, uh, I, i once again thank all the authorities uh, behind uh, 
for working uh, with andagium uh, for for inviting me to this uh, uh, important uh, day uh, so without losing much time uh, I, I i think i will start my presentation since the uh, ppt was uh, not uploading i have uh, reduced the size of the ppt let me try yeah uh, is uh, my ppt visible now uh, it is not uh, visible sir it is not uh, actually i have uh, uploaded in I, your uh, uh, sir, uh, it is not uh, actually visible let uh, start the discussion uh, if it is uh, okay. if possible we will start mid time i think because many students they are waiting eagerly waiting to listen okay. from you sir. so <laughs> okay. i think let's okay. start okay. it uh, at the mid time okay. we will see Okay, so anyway, the slide is not visible for me. It is moving. no. Yeah, for you, nothing is seen. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so, uh, so we, okay. So. Yes, uh, okay. Uh, so uh, as uh, Madam has uh, uh, mentioned, uh, we are celebrating the Earth Day, and uh, the theme of uh, this year's Earth Day is uh, invest in our planet. Uh, yes. So last year was also uh, invest in your planet. So uh, why the same uh, theme uh, is repeating? That is, an, uh, everybody, especially the youngsters, will have uh, uh, a doubt. See, all these uh, themes for Earth Day, uh, these are selected uh, uh, to highlight specific environmental issues or uh, uh, challenges uh, that needs to be addressed. So, uh, yes. so when when we say that uh, uh, we have the same theme repeated uh, uh, two consecutive years, uh, that means uh, the challenge that we have put forward the last year has not been met, and uh, we need a, a continued uh, attention and action uh, in the previous year's theme. So, if you if you go through yes. the theme, uh, invest in your planet. So, why should we invest in our planet? Is it uh, uh, for uh, someone else benefit or is it for our own benefit these are the questions we have to always uh, ponder on uh, so uh, yes. one uh, important thing i want to specify is uh, as long as human species inhabits the earth that is our planet, uh, planet. proper management of our resources uh, will be the most fundamental issue we face our very survival will depend upon whether or not we are able to preserve protect and defend our environment that was the yes. uh, lesson uh, great lesson for the uh, earth day uh, so we should not forget that thing so it is for our own survival it is not for anybody else survival so if you want to survive on this planet as you know in our uh, universe only our planet is uh, habitable right yes even though Still we even have though, uh, only scientists... one planet where we can live yeah, but even, even though scientists are exploring the possibility of uh, uh, finding life or uh, even yes. as, uh, making space colonies in uh, Mars or in uh, Jupiter or even in Moor, uh, people are yes. uh, doing research. Uh, but so far, uh, the what they call a habitable planet is only successful uh, habitable planet as far as we know is our, our mother Earth. So yes. it is our duty to protect it and... Uh, we should be uh, uh, using our uh, resources uh, to uh, to invest on in, in our planet to save our species. It is not to uh, simply investing. It is for uh, saving our species. As you know, Homo sapiens, uh, we are one among the, uh, the millions of uh, species that uh, that uh, uh, origin that what they call survive in this particular planet. There are many yeah. species that got got extinct previously. Uh, uh, we, um, then people may ask uh, whether we won't be uh, why we are uh, surviving. We of course we will also uh, become extinct uh, had not uh, if there is no support from the science and technology. It is it is yeah. purely because of the developments of science and technology that the Homo sapiens as such is surviving today. Otherwise, you know, the, because you know how uh, dinosaur has become extinct. Yes. Uh, uh, so, uh, during the, during that period, dinosaurs might not have imagined that. Okay, I will become extinct. So, uh, yes. Similar is our situation. We are now dominating, and we think that uh, we are the super uh, 
uh, uh, super yeah super being in this on okay. this planet uh, but uh, why should we invest in our planet first of yes. all uh, it is for the uh, environmental sustainability so if you when uh, when we invest in our planet we ensure long term health and sustainability sustainability of the natural resources that sustain us uh, this includes uh, clean yes. air water fertile soil and healthy ecosystem yes. and second second is economic prosperity uh, investing in green technologies and sustainable practices can create new jobs and industries it can also spur uh, economic growth you know recently our pm prime minister has uh, announced the hydrogen mission the clean uh, energy hydrogen yeah. mission so so all, all these things will uh, uh, lead to a more resilient and sustainable economy similarly uh, climate change mitigation so when you invest in renewable energy energy efficiency and other climate friendly technologies can help reduce uh, greenhouse gas emissions and uh, mitigate the impacts of uh, climate change climate change another another important thing is human health and well being a, a healthy environment is crucial for human health and well being by investing in our yes. planet we can we can reduce pollution improve access to clean water and healthy food see you if you if you just go through uh, uh, just analyze what is happening around you uh, is your environment clean uh, whatever food that you take is uh, uh, what they call uh, not adulterated or is it is uh, uh, it is healthy food all these things uh, if you analyze you will realize that uh, uh, we are living by god's grace because we are we are inhaling or we are consuming lot of poly, poly, toxic things in your body Till we are surviving, that is that itself is a miracle, right? Uh, and um, another area that uh, we have to keep in uh, keep more focus is the biodiversity conservation. Uh, so no, nowadays nobody is concerned about biodiversity, right? We are destroying biodiversity. So why should yeah. uh, we conserve biodiversity? So uh, yeah, if you being in what you call human being, we always think about ourselves. We don't think. Uh, Uh, that we are one among the other species on this planet we have yes. our own uh, uh, what they call justifications or uh, we think that we are the super beings so, uh, so only if something uh, uh, advantages to our species happens then we are interested so in that aspect when you <laughs> conserve biodiversity uh, you are actually uh, protecting the uh, for, from the biological perspective you are protecting the endangered species but for from the human perspective in biodiversity is uh, hidden lot of uh, uh, what you call uh, 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 medicinal plants uh, there are lot of yes. uh, what you call uh, answers to the uh, most of the yes. dreaded disease herbal herbal medicine all these yes. things are hidden in the biodiversity and still till now our science and technology has not able to uh, give an uh, valid answer to yeah identify and we, we have not it uh, uh, what they call uh, uh, screened the chemicals uh, present in the plants and uh, plants. more more so over we, we have not studied the uh, what they call the ocean resources yes right that the is what government system. of india yeah yes which yeah, is, is the largest ecosystem in the world and uh, the most diverse yeah. uh, biodiversity is present there yeah and that is why government of india has recently announced the uh, deep ocean mission we with in order to study explore yes. the potential of ocean because that is uh, that is where the future lies but in spite of all this we, we can we can explore all these things uh, uh, we can uh, go deep into the ocean we can explore the uh, what they call the pristine forest available in our country all these things can be done but still if you if you uh, just as a layman if you look at uh, around you you feel that uh, we have our ecosystems you know the what is ecosystem ecosystem is the uh, structural and functional unit of uh, ecology where living organisms yes. interact with each other and the surrounding environment so we have uh, the textbook knowledge of uh, uh, ecosystem you might have studied in your in your school classes <laughs> we have forest yes. we have a desert you have grassland you have mountain yes. you have fresh water yes. you have marine yes. ecosystems so when when we say that uh, uh, what they call our planet our planet is uh, yes. is a compilation of all these ecosystems 
so if you want to yes. protect our planet or our earth we have to protect all these ecosystem so there ecosystem. is there the focus should be and, and in today's world there is another uh, ecosystem we can also say the space ecosystem now ecosystem, yes. is, uh, uh, yeah, investing lot of millions of money uh, in, in in into the space india is also yes. uh, planning uh, gaganyaan we are also doing chandrayaan we are using uh, all countries are are what yes. you call vying with each other to uh, what you call uh, to create their niche area in the space so there also there are lot of pollution all these countries are doing that we are so far we have not studied uh, uh, or no data has been completely available on this but still what is available around us in the other ecosystem uh, it is uh, not a what you call a, a good thing or a positive thing uh, we have been destroying our planet's ecosystem planet. every 3 seconds the world loses uh, uh, enough uh, forest to cover a uh, football yeah. pitch and over the last century we have destroyed half of our wetlands and as much as uh, yeah. 50% of our coral reefs have already been lost and uh, up to yes. 90% of coral reefs uh, could be lost by uh, 2050 uh, even if yeah. the global warming is limited to an increase of uh, 1.5 degree celsius right celsius. and uh, uh, yesterday we uh, through news uh, we came to know that uh, uh we uh, we have overpowered china and became the <laughs> what they call the most populous country in the world so that world. creates a uh, uh, population increase in the population in one way is a strength of the country but in other way it also it also creates lot of issues that needs to be uh, addressed right so yeah. when 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 we have a pollution when you have the population increase you as a as a nation the government has to find resources to them but uh, how to provide resources because our our planet is not expanding even the the, no. uh, the human uh, species is expanding only yes. human species is expanding we have thousands of other species animal species so mm. uh, i will consider myself as an animal we are one among that animal <laughs> species yeah and, the social that, animals only yeah that we we call we, we as a social animal uh, if you if you read uh, uh, re- I, I forgot that Desmond Morris uh, uh, naked day book. Uh, you will understand yes. that we are we are also uh, one among <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so yes. Uh, we can cons- uh, when if you if you consider ourselves as a biological species, uh, we are over dominant. We are we are we are expanding. The planet is not expanding. Expand. So the one one single species is uh, uh, expanding to uh, to the core and. Uh, Uh, how to feed them so when, when the population increases there are all, there are also lot of issues that uh, yeah comes into the, the picture yeah. uh, and one one major issue is the uh, unplanned urbanization right we we all yes. of us uh, uh, yeah even a, a person there is it's a social issue a person uh, sitting in uh, the remote himalayan region uh, i cannot say to him that Uh, a man you should know, your place should be maintained as pristine because i want to come to your place and i i want to enjoy the serenity of the nature whereas he may be interested in seeing a mall in delhi uh, or a, or in a metro he wants to tra- uh, wants to travel in a um, sophisticated vehicle so that that may be his dream so it is yes. a social issue how how i can convince him uh, that uh, uh, i should uh, your place should be maintained uh, pristine so that that is a very uh, difficult task so when you when you see the, some of the recent issues that uh, have seen whether it is in joshimad in joshimad you have seen uh, how uh, what happens because of this unplanned uh, uh, development Ur- urbanization uh, yes. yeah urbanization and uh, uh, see of course you can build houses but uh, you you have to look at the topography you should not uh, see there are a lot of traditional ways in which uh, people used to con- construct houses in the olden t- times and we don't have much yes. issues but now it is not like that even um, in the, the fragile himalayan region you can see a lot of buildings coming up destroying the uh, forest area uh, yes. if you if you if you have ever come to uh, kerala in the capital city of Trivand- uh, kerala there is a trivandrum uh, you, you ha- it's uh, surrounded by the be- it's, uh, beaches and uh, yes. you can see near the airport there is on beach uh, shangamugam that has 
uh, what you call it, uh, every year it is slowly coming uh, eroding the uh, shoreline and it is coming to the uh, main road the sea is now have traveled almost 2 kilometers inside so the sea erosion has is happening yes, and uh, sir, this problem not only lies with that sea that that beach it also lies with the beaches which are situated in odisha or is okay so that is yes. so this is a so th for every a, beach i think this is a general problem yeah so but uh, we have to understand why why this is happening why this is so, happening yes yeah so the, anyway uh, this this is a major issue so but, uh, the reason is see as per the government rule you should not construct houses near to the uh, beach area that is what i understand yes, there is a know. there is a limit limit uh, limit uh, where uh, the construction activity should be delimited <laughs> but uh, in most of the cases by some uh, means people construct it and uh, in order to so it's a, it's a politics everything is re in uh, is uh, is uh, related to that but anyway uh, uh, similarly you are you are do, doing lot of uh, destruction in the uh, forest areas uh, as you know western ghats uh, is one of the most biodiverse rich uh, part of the country and in in uh, in, in western ghats also uh, there are lot of destruction activities happening uh one is by of course by the uh, common man uh, through his uh, cultivation methods by they are destroying the forest and they are doing uh, monoculture like rubber plantation or yeah. pineapple plantation see all these by all these uh, monoculture practices when we say that uh, uh, green revolution we always we say that green revolution is a good thing but there is a side effect of green revolution also so because of yeah. green revolution uh we have limited ourselves to few species uh, few varieties of rice and uh, yes. wheat we have, we yes. have neglected many of our traditional uh, varieties so now we are we are uh, we are realizing uh, the importance of that thing but that green revolution has done a major uh, draw, uh, problem with the what they call destruction of many of the traditional varieties but so Such uh, traditional varieties uh, are uh, sir, uh, just uh, what we think and what we read. Such traditional varieties of uh, whether it is wheat or rice or any varieties that is naturally extincted due to the green revolution. Is it so? Yeah. Many so varieties we lost. Uh, yeah, may, 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 many many varieties we lost because of uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, green revolution but why i am saying is uh, in Ke in kerala uh, in in the region of wayanad there have um, 50 plus local varieties indigenous varieties of rice but now yes. if you if you if you ask uh, someone uh, of course in limited pockets recently one one farmer from that region got the uh, patmasri award also for conserving the traditional varieties but uh, only few people are doing this this has to be done uh, by uh, what you call uh, uh, every everyone even, even the government should promote such activities but uh, uh, green revolution has uh, made people to what you call apply lot of uh, uh, pesticide uh, 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 so people who were not using pesticide has now addicted to using pesticide and now we are yes. saying you reduce the usage so it is it's it's uh, uh, what you call uh, it's, it's unplanned or uh, there's uh, some problem with our uh, scientific community also we okay. should have a proper uh, there should be bit, uh, within the community there should be some communication there is that is what i understand the lack similarly, of proper uh, communication yes and similarly you just uh, see uh, some of the uh, uh, institutes many rich national institutes or uh, government supported institutes will be located in the pristine areas you just yes. go through uh, <laughs> iits or uh, uh, ices you will realize Ice. i know one one particular ice it is in the heart of the uh, what they call forest so they have to, of course they will do a lot of environmental impact assessments all this stuff they will do it but still the damage you are doing uh, is uh, uh, is you, it is uh, not uh, uh, irrevocable it is very, it's very difficult to uh, revoke that thing uh, and uh, 
uh, when you travel from uh, Delhi to Dehradun or, or Delhi to uh, Lucknow, you can see that uh, Express Highway is there. Okay. So uh, I, I also enjoy traveling through this Express Highway because uh, you can, uh, what they call, nice, uh, good roads are needed for the uh, development of the country. But at the same time, the roads are needed. But when you uh, see, now if you travel from Delhi to Meerut, uh, uh, you can see good, uh, uh, what they call, agricultural fields you can see there. But once that uh, Delhi Metro, uh, Delhi Meerut Metro comes into picture, then I am sure all these, uh, uh, what they call, uh, uh, areas will be uh, built by the uh, flat, Concrete. flat or... Uh, and yeah, concrete maybe jungles. concrete jungles that. and all these uh, uh, agri fields that we now feel see uh, will be uh, lost within maybe five years or ten years of time. Years. So there, there comes the sustainability. You, you, we should develop, but um, there should be a sustainable development, right? Hmm. Uh, yeah. uh, we, uh, we, uh, we are polluting the environment. Um, of course, uh, fossil fuel uh, causes a lot of uh, pollution. Now government has come up with uh, electric cars. Electric uh, Yeah, initially we, we came to CNG. So si science is giving answers to all these issues. Um, uh, so, but uh, uh, still how many people are uh, uh, concerned about uh, uh, burning of plastic? Burn. Even, 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 mm -hmm. uh, even, even uh, what I have seen uh, in, uh, in Delhi, the, the what they call the uh, uh, chai wala. Chai wala, jab wo, Chai banate hai wo, that what you call that mesh, uh, I don't know what, what you call that thing. Uh, the chai ka pati ka alag karne ke liye, that is a mesh, no? Uh, that, okay, that, that is ke liye they use. Yeah, that is. That's that is, you uh, are saying. Yeah, that is the, that is made up of plastic. And what plastic, he does okay. is they, 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 they put it in the chai, uh, they stir it using that thing. And okay. uh, see, uh, and even educated people drink that tea in, tea in a city like Metro. I see. I, I used to ask every chai wala, why don't you use a steel one? Why you are using this plastic one? Because the it spatula, has been poured. The spatula one, they are uh, used to stirring the chai that you are saying. I think. Yeah, in that there is a, there is some meshes also there, no? The chai yes. pati ko nikal ne ke liye. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, so th that uh, they are using the plastic thing. So from that plastic, you are getting the microplastic. And similarly, in some parts, uh, I have seen that uh, milk, in, especially in the southern India, uh, they will keep that uh, um, uh, milk with the plastic cover or, uh, over the steam uh, pot. pot. So, uh, so using that steam, this plastic, uh, uh, the milk inside the plastic will also boil. So that is for their convenience they are doing. So from that also, you are getting uh, microplastic. And in uh, uh, and in metros, especially in Delhi, what I have observed is people take chai in plastic. Uh, this thing polythene, polythene cover. Polythene. Yeah, I, I, and he will give small plastic cups uh, uh, as a compliment. So all these things we uh, we are say, government is taking initiative, but public is not uh, concerned about the, these things. Yeah. So uh, po pollution is a major thing. Uh, you uh, again garbage issue. Yeah, when, yes, when the exactly. population increases and the urbanization happens, garbage is a major problem. So why this garbage? Is, you, if you have traveled in uh, from Delhi, are... yeah, Gaziabad uh, area in Gazipur, you can see that like uh, garbage is like a hill. Uh, I initially when I saw, I thought it is a hill. The later only I realized that it was a it was yeah, a hill of the garbage. Feel it has been hill of the garbage, and it is uh, done by the government. It is not okay. the common man who is doing. It is the government employees are working on it. But okay. uh, well, there are technologies. You you might have heard about indoor means in, indoor the city indoor. They, yes. they have yes. worked with. The, they showed the country you can have a good garbage uh, or waste recycling plant. So plant. technologies, are, but uh, the technology is there, but the willpower is not there. That's what I. I, I understand. So garbage is a serious issue. You you go to yes, uh, garbage. Uh, yeah, very that all this uh, solid waste management. See, uh, first of all, why this garbage occurred? So if you consider your earth as your mother, uh, you should uh, um, see that your mother is not uh, 
uh, what they call uh, destroyed by you, right? So yes. why should you yes. put the uh, waste on your mother? So this should be the concern. Yeah. Sure. So initially you don't have, uh, I think, uh, if you look back uh, 20 years back, uh, uh, when all these metros were not there, even uh, some uh, small villages and municipalities were there, we, we yes. never had this issue of uh, uh, garbage problem. Why? Because of whatever waste that comes, it, it, it will be uh, what they call disposed of in one's house itself. One's house. Right. You, 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 from, a, from a person's house, how, many, uh, how, how much garbage will occur? It will be maximum um, half kilogram, maximum, or one kilogram. Yes. yes. That, you can, that you can dispose of in your small uh, uh, area itself. Yes. But the moment, the moment people think that uh, it is the government responsibility to uh, take my garbage, this garbage problem uh, has erupted. So it is the, what, what we need is the change in attitude of the uh, people's perception. Perception. And, similar, and similarly, when you uh, in, in tourism, you, you have uh, your, oh, everybody is interested in going to beaches, going to hill stations, Himalayan yeah. regions, Western Gates. But in all these places, people uh, put a lot of uh, uh, waste materials, right? They, uh, they, especially the uh, pet bottles, uh, uh, bottle is a major pollution in every part. Uh, and the plastic, then, as you mentioned, the uh, uh, bottles, they are mostly made up of plastics and uh, the microplastics, they uh, sustain in the ecosystem for uh, many level, what uh, actually cause the myomagnification and it will rotate to the ecosystem. Then another issues from garbage issue, then the biomagnification also starts. Yes. And... Uh, uh, in, in in all these things, uh, uh, say, uh, we are even even when I visited uh, somewhat pristine regions of Gangtok, uh, they are also you know, what they call near the snow uh, snow or the ice uh, ice yeah, ice. I can I, I can see the what they call packets of Maggie. Is it huh. audible? Yes, yes, sir. It is audible. Uh, I I can see the packets of uh, uh, Maggie and all this stuff. Uh, in the, the wrappers, the chocolate wrappers, the yeah, chips, wrappers, all the, yeah, people, yeah, people enjoy environment and people destroy it. They are not destroy. concerned whether for tomorrow we need uh, uh, we need to maintain this place as such. Similarly, if yes. you if you have if you got a chance to travel by uh, from uh, Kalka to Simla in that uh, uh, heritage train, you can see okay. on the way uh, nearing the Simla railway station. You can see a garbage, what do you call it, a pile of gar garbage uh, uh, on the sides of the railway track. I don't know who, how yes. uh, municipality or uh, whether it is municipality or the people who are doing this, how they can do it because it's a very nice area and all these rubbish things are put on that uh, uh, sides of that hills. Side so of hill. yes. so uh, uh, tourism is a major issue and also... Uh, in India, India, we have uh, diverse religions, and all religions have got uh, their own festivities. Uh, you see, any pilgrim site of any religion or any festivities, after that festivities is over, you can see lot of waste products. Awesome. It may be the it may be the it may be the flowers, it may be the plastic, it may plastic. be cloth. All these things are there. Yeah, uh, th that. Uh, uh, what they call our our religious leaders should also educate people. So if if we consider our mother as our planet as a mother, uh, they, are do, they, are, they are not doing puja. They are actually uh, destroying our mother. So uh, these things yes. have to be uh, taken care. Uh, then uh, we are doing a lot of de de deforestation activities. Uh, in some cases, the deforestation is uh, uh, done by the government agencies itself. That is a, a very sad state of affairs if you see some of the forest departments they they destroy the forest and they uh, do teak plantation they do rubber plantation, the rubber plantation. This, yeah they they do all these things uh, with the government uh, support that is uh, and uh, ultimately, uh, for the economical crop cultivation they are doing and uh, just destroying the forest whatever it is forest or a land area or a, even grassland is also destroyed Many cases. Grassland is also that ecosystem is also very important. 
you should yes, not uh, every, uh, every uh, yeah, yeah, grassland ecosystem should be maintained as such so these things uh, there is some gap in the communication between the scientific people and policy makers that is policy makers uh, they should uh, sit together then only we can uh, find some solution you in, in recent times you have heard about lot of uh, uh, human animal conflict uh, in kerala recent times there are a lot of issues of uh, elephants uh, destroying the uh yes. habitable houses uh and i think in in, in mysore and in uttarakhand uh, tiger and leopard, leopard attacks were there so uh, all these uh, issues uh, uh, are happening and uh, now all these issues are there and who is the culprit i will say the culprit is myself we are culprit the culprit is, uh, yeah each yeah. or no first uh, uh, we are we are uh, we, we are educated but uh, we often uh, forget that uh, uh, we are one among the other species on this planet and uh, 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 we should uh, preserve our planet but of course gone as i mentioned there are some initiatives by the government side especially in recent times if you have visited uh, uh, rishikesh you might have seen uh, the uh, ganga uh, uh, becoming uh, what they call little pristine or at least uh, uh that ganga water in the rishikesh area has become uh, fit portable it's it, it has yeah. become uh, portable water portable. by initiatives yeah, initiatives of the government uh, and similarly the smart city indoor i have mentioned and if you yes. happen to uh, visit uh, uh, one hill station in the southern india that is uh, kodaikanal um, I, i was very much impressed by the uh, activities of the kodaikanal <laughs> municipality there uh, before you enter into that uh, town i think uh, four or five kilometers down uh, down the hills uh, they check the vehicles and uh, uh, they take out any pet bottles nothing is allowed even if oh. you go to kodaikanal you cannot get a, uh, what you call a, uh, one liter mineral water also is not drinking water is also not available only drinking water available is five liters so these initiatives are to just to reduce the consumption of uh, uh, these pet bottles and yes, even uh, Uh, this uh, pepsi mirinda all these things are not available um, so there they are promoting glass bottle uh, drinking water it is uh, 30 rupees and yes. if you uh, if you replace that bottle you you can refill it is 15 rupees or 20 rupees so in that way and also uh, another interesting feature i found there was uh, they are even not allowing that paper cups with uh, a poly- plastic lining what? because plastic lining we, okay yeah even when we say that we are using paper cups inside that paper cup there's a plastic lining so that is also harmful yeah uh, it is also microplastic when you t- drink tea and all this yes, things, it yes, is going that is a microplastic so, so in kodaikanal they have done that thing and uh, in uh, in in simla uh, uh, they in, in spite uh, they are doing lot of damage So, as i mentioned but still they are collecting a green tax from the tourist uh, that uh, uh, that is tourist. that is also yes. when when you when you when you conserve their their area right when you conserve uh, a part so of the there are many yeah. safe uh, when yes sir uh, they, they are conserving it yes, for sir, our it is yeah, so, uh, so we have to uh, we have to pay for that so using our money they can keep on conserving there is nothing wrong in that but uh, that should that, that should be there uh, and uh, uh, if you happen to see uh, cochin airport that was the first international airport uh, in india to become fully solar powered delhi is also yeah. now solar powered so we, we have to find out the alternate energy resources uh, to have a, yeah. yeah to to have a green uh, uh, an energy and also we sh- we should uh, promote only responsible tourism Resp- tourism uh, never should not uh, uh, destroy the uh, ecosystem so that should be ecosystem. strict because see if you are um, responsibility in our people doesn't comes uh, innately only if you innately. have a uh, what you call uh, strict rules if somebody is keeping yes. a rule then only people rule. will obey otherwise Uh, otherwise people on the, uh, something uh, uh, yeah just going to see that but there is no aesthetic sense within us we are destroying and exploiting 
we are going to exploring it but uh, we are not exploring that we are exploiting the resource and from yes. exploiting the resource we have many problems arise yes. and uh, uh, you are also many students uh, they used to see um, zoo uh, there are a oh. lot of uh, zoos are there but uh, during covid of- time uh, covid time you might have uh, 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 you have might have observed that uh, we ourselves were in zoo when there was a covid lockdown yeah. we felt lockdown, we were in zoo. We were. so, we are so re- remember these animals uh, when we keep it in uh, in a zoo it is for our education and research purpose uh, but uh, uh, it is not a good thing because uh, uh, see uh, if you, if you are really proud of uh, a proud uh, animal or a proud citizen of a country uh, we should allow all these animals uh, to animals. be in, in the forest it is it forest. should not be in the forest uh, it, it should not be in the zoo in it should be in the forest in their, in their natural uh, so habitat only in their natural habitat only so uh, as an youngsters when you visit you 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 just make a sensitization that uh, they are also yes. an animal like us and we and we never would like to uh, live inside a cage imagine ourselves in that cage Uh, so give respect to all these animals that yeah. live inside yeah. the uh, zoo uh, and uh, now it's a time is uh, uh, too ba- i will say uh, um, i don't know every, every how many how we we can uh, uh, go back and we go back uh, and have a, a pristine environment again uh, yeah. uh, but uh, uh, one thing uh, yeah, the youngsters can do is uh, uh, you can grow trees Uh, green uh, our cities you can rebuild our garden see uh, uh, bangalore was once known as the garden city of the con- country garden. but yeah. if you go to bangalore now i will say it is a congested uh, uh, pollution hub of the country i i, I won't say yes, bangalore sir. is a garden city now but when we were in the schools uh, i i enjoyed going to bangalore because everywhere bangalore. you can see some yes, it's a in their culture in their Uh, even in the architecture everywhere garden was very uh, important things and also yes. you have to uh, even uh, the, the, yeah even we uh, live in our old houses we have gardens we have uh, many of the people have their own gardens but now yes. we are living in apartment we don't have even space uh, to hold a pot inside it so yes. this thing this thing uh, due to urbanization Yes. We have blocked a lot of industrialized. Yes. Sir. Yes, but but still youngsters can at least uh, plant some trees near their flat yes. or on the roadside. And, uh, yes. uh, it's cool. Th- that the uh, somebody has to take initiative. Yeah, and also uh, even uh, this uh, food habit. See, uh, uh, instead of this Pepsi and all these things, you can take fresh juices. You can take con- coconut, tender coconut water. and all these yes. things in that way you can uh, what you call reduce a pile of uh, uh, unnecessary yeah, waste material that is uh, popping yeah. up on, yeah so that that uh, youngsters can do and yeah. also when you when you use uh, school bag and water bottles uh, try to uh, um, uh, what you call compel your parents to buy some uh, eco friendly uh, bags and oh. all these things yeah. and uh, uh, you should act as a uh, what they call uh, it is uh, the old generation see all these uh, damages to the environment has been t- uh, done not by the t- present day youngsters or present day yes, by us uh, so it is the, it is your uh, fathers or far forefathers but oh, father. uh, but uh, uh, you cannot uh, say pinpoint to them and say idol and saying okay it is because of my parents or my grandparents Bye. did this thing i won't do anything let it be like that because uh it's a uh, if you if you people doesn't make a compromise if you if you people especially the youngsters don't uh, make peace with the nature then uh, we we don't know what will happen to our planet and what will happen to our our species so it is for for the survival of the, of our species yes. we need to make peace with nature and we need to uh protect our uh, mother planet so okay. let's get get active uh, but not anxious thank you Ag- yes so let uh, what you say let's get active but not anxious 
and uh, the present day problem which lies with the environment that not just created by the youngsters it is by us maybe our fathers and forefathers but uh, it is a uh, issue it is a present day issue and it will also go to the future so it is now our duty to think just like the global citizen not only i am living in a small place i only think that i will clean uh, only that place not the other place if i were, i am think there is a garbage i will not pick it it is not like that and just like the other species we are among the one of the species in the planet we are only thinking of ourselves not the other species and india is one of the the mega biodiversity heritage country of the world and the 11 mega biodiversity country we have many biodiversities with us uh, counting from the wetland grassland yeah, your ocean ecosystem or himalayan western ghat we have many biodiversity we need to conserve it which it is our responsibility not only any authority or government or any other people it is only we what we can start at least from the small small baby steps planting of trees not piling up the garbage just uh, going with some organic farming and uh, even by reducing carbon footprints when we can uh, use uh, the we can go by walking or by bicycle we can use the public transport but still we are using our own vehicles just uh, it is like a status we have a car or we have its own vehicle it should not be like that and uh, uh, this is uh, just uh, actually one day cannot be earth day it is our mother we are living in the planet still we don't have any other option to live so it is our responsibility to take care of our own or uh, keep take care of our earth take care of our home so we must be responsible for the things we are doing and we are going to uh, see the results in future or near future so what we must think that it is not just an option it is a necessity and we should re- remember remind and uh, recognize the necessity and work according to that we are here to explore the planet not exploiting the planet thank you sir you just give so valuable information to us to our students participant and each and every one we are very lucky uh, lucky and blessed to uh, see and hear all these things and i am sure that the students who are just in the program they must be very happy and also they know the information and they will think uh, yes these are the issues we are getting through and we are thinking of the solution only so the uh, yeah, thank you very much for the time you given to us to anurakham science technology and to the students in this uh, program thank you very yeah. much for your presence so once once again thank you pragna madam and uh, uh, anurakham for uh, inviting me and giving me this opportunities i know that uh, uh you are putting all these things in your youtube uh, channel and yes, uh, yes, more pe- uh, people can see at it, our uh, website and uh, yeah, other platform so, also so it should uh, go to uh, many students many people uh, to the society they should know this so it is the in the in this age of uh, mobile all students uh, they are addicted to mobile field so uh, <laughs> at least my request to all my young, young friends uh, my brothers and sisters is uh, uh you give some uh, at least uh, one hour you look around your uh, surroundings and start uh, ima- uh, lo- uh, loving your nature and uh, do uh, do, uh, do so- something uh, do one good thing for the nature one day uh, one take day. a break from your mobile uh, smartphones at least for one hour yeah. so one uh, hour, yes. so it is for your survival it is for your future so all the yes, best sir. and uh, once again i appreciate uh, anuragam for their great initiatives in developing scientific timber uh, in the country so thank you thank you namaskar thank you thank you